Uh, do you know, listening to the commentary before with Denno and Clinton about it can real be a lull having the drinks break for the next few minutes so I can sway the games and hopefully they get it going now after that incident and that's two big incidents and plus a drinks break seems a little bit of stoppage in this first half. Do you think the Crystal Palace players at that drinks break might have discussed that a handball decision for Sacco's disallowed goal? Well, I would be. You see the, the analyst behind us from Crystal Palace and I saw her looking at him to say handball. He was saying that's what it'll be. The, the, he's in direct contact down to the, to the bench area. They'll be giving their opinions, what they've seen. And I'd imagine they'll be into the officials very, very quickly. And that is why that decision... It remains nil-nil as we approach the half-hour mark at Villa Park on Five Live. Here is Trezeguet for Aston Villa. Midway through the Crystal Palace half, right-hand side. Plays it back to the halfway line and Tyrone Mings now has it. Midway through his own half, closed down by Christian Benteke. It was his goals that helped keep Aston Villa up. Benteke in his three seasons with them. 42 in all. Never really managed to replace that in the Premier League of course Tammy Abraham with a good season last season in the Championship and returning to Chelsea and Aston Villa in possession just inside their own half charged down by MacArthur Mings will send it all the way back to Reina so we can get an update from the final day of the first test with the West Indies, Eleanor Oldworth It's pretty tense here Vicky 88 for 3 the West Indies chasing 200 to